So this is a short tutorial on how you can output some of the elements within OBS with Alpha. Uh, unfortunately with the NDI plugin, I will leave a link in the description, you cannot do this for the for the actual program output, so what we're seeing here, but you can do it for certain elements. So to demonstrate this, if we output NDI on the main output and we look in the studio monitor, we can see that there's no alpha because otherwise the checkerboard would have shown. So what we can do is make the scene transparent. So how we're gonna do that is use a filter within OBS to output a dedicated NDI. So if we make a new scene, call that NDI, and we add scene one, right click on scene one, do filters, add a new filter, and we are gonna select dedicated NDI output, you can rename this to whatever you want. And here we can rename it to the output that we want. So this is the name that will show in any NDI software. We can close it. And we're gonna look at scene one. And now we can see it has the checkerboard. So this is alpha and you can output NDI with alpha. So I know this use case is not necessarily useful for most people but i already had some use cases that i could use it just to use obs as an ndi renderer of web content that has alpha for instance and that's it